Welcome back to Matt Break Studio. I'm Steve Martin, and I'm here in the studio with, well, without Mark Spencer. He's in Buenos Aires teaching Motion and Final Cut Pro 10 to the Argentina user group. So don't cry for Mark, Argentina. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that we hit 50,000 subscribers this week. So if you've watched, subscribed, or commented, thank you so much. We couldn't do this show without you. It's pretty exciting for us. This week, I want to show you something pretty cool. I want to talk about the GoPro Fusion camera and Final Cut Pro 10. Now, before you say, oh man, it's 360 camera. I don't shoot 360. My clients don't ask for 360. I'm asking you to rethink your position, especially in light of what I'm about to show you today. You need to think of this camera as more than just a 360 camera. Let's take a look. So here I am in Final Cut Pro 10. I should point out that before you ingest Fusion footage into Final Cut Pro, you're going to need to use Fusion Studio in order to stitch the footage together. So assuming you've done that, I've brought this footage into a 360 timeline. I'll go ahead and play a little bit of this and tell you why I like this camera so much. Yes, that is me on a zip line. And the stabilization on this camera is incredible. Look at that, it's rock solid. The colors are rich and vibrant. It's got great dynamic range. The audio records spatially, and it's just a fun camera to shoot with. Okay, let's look at another example. Here I am at a nice quiet beach in Kauai. I'll play a little bit of this. You can see it's just this, you know, this you were there kind of feeling. It's a really nice beach, there's no one, no one around. And I didn't bring my monopod that day. And look, look at how stable it is. So what did I use for a monopod? Well, let me open up the inspector and look down at the bottom of the sphere, also called the nader, and turn off the patch. Yep, that's me, a human monopod that I patched out. And what's important to understand is that again, GoPro stabilization is so good that you can get away with this kind of thing. So that's what we're looking at here. Okay, so a lot of you are thinking, I don't shoot 360. Well, you should reconsider because this camera works excellent in standard HD and UHD projects. If you think about it, this camera records both A-roll and B-roll at the same time, and it records in 4K with both cameras. So that said, let's take a look. So here I am in an HD project, and if I hit Command J on the keyboard, it'll bring up the project properties. You can see it's a 1920 by 1080 project 30P. And if I scrub through this, you're only seeing a portion of that 360 footage that I placed into it. There's a button over here, it's called the orientation tool. If I click that, I can click around and I can see all of the data in the sphere, I can look pretty much everywhere, the sky, the ground, the beach, everywhere. I have access to all the data, even though I'm in a standard HD project. So this is how you could use a camera like this to tell a story and tell a story very quickly. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this and figure where I wanna cut, figure out where I wanna cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play. So he's talking about a little island there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a good place to cut. So maybe he's right, right about there. He's referencing this place out to sea. I'm going to hit Command B to blade, move my playhead a little bit later. And I notice I still have the Orient tool active. I'm just going to swing around and there's me. I'm just going to position and get the framing I want. What's really nice is this is shoot first, direct later and I'm actually directing editorially. So for example, if I want this a little wider, I go into the inspector under the orientation parameters and just widen that out a little bit. Maybe just a little, little, create a little space around me there. I'll go ahead and play this. So I'm cutting from my family walking on the beach and I'm cutting to me. Now I cut me a little bit late there. I'm gonna cut maybe just before I turn my head and all standard tools apply. I've hit option left bracket. I'll trim the end point of that clip. There we go, and I'm looking at what he's referring to. Okay, now I'm talking about the ocean, so I'm gonna do another cut by pressing Command B, and I'm gonna move over here, and maybe I want to show the ocean at this point. Again, with the Orient tool in hand, I'm just gonna drag this. By the way, if you hold down Shift key, you can constrain 
the motion along the horizontal axis. It won't shift or it won't roll or tilt. So I'm shifting over to the ocean here. There's what I want to look at next. And back in the inspector, I can make some, some adjustments to the tilt and the roll. And you can see here the horizon isn't exactly level. So I'm going to use the roll parameter. I'm going to put my mouse in there. I'm just going to just make a slight adjustment to the roll. Could get that looking level on the horizon. And so if I play this, and then look at that. I mean, it's just rock steady. It's like the, the fusion was on a gimbal. It's so stable. Now what I want to do is move over here. And again, because I have all of the 360 data at my disposal, I can do animated camera moves. Like for example, let's say I wanted to animate down to the beach or pay, excuse me, tilt down to the beach. So I'm going to move my play it in place about right here and over the inspector, I'm going to control click and choose add. And what that does is it add key, adds keyframes for tilt, pan, roll and field of view. Now what I want to do is move my playhead a little bit later, maybe towards the end of the clip, maybe right about there. And I want to put my mouse in the tilt parameter control. And I just want to then tilt down toward the beach. And maybe at this point, I want to be a little tighter on the field of view. So cut out my hand there. So when I play this back, I get this nice beach shot that tilts down. To the sand. So as you can see, 360 cameras like this GoPro Fusion can be used for a lot more than just 360 projects. You have a lot more creative flexibility, especially in regard to HD and UHD projects. So that's my tip. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting. Check us out at ripple We'll see you next week at MacBreak Studio.